Okay, in 4.6, this is a little bit involved um, in, in terms of solving. We are trying to calculate the total heat loss from a house with different surfaces, windows, walls, and the roof. And once we get the total heat that is lost, and that is the heat that we have to buy, basically, based on the furnace efficiency of 90%. So we need to calculate heat loss through each of these surfaces, windows, roof, and walls. So let's calculate the heat loss through each of these surfaces. Windows. Do we have all the parameters that are required? Basically, area, HDD, and R. Area is given as 580 square feet, and R value is also given as 1, so... We know our value. We need to know the HDD. Since the house is located in State College, HDD happens to be 6,000, or we can take it as 6,000. So we have all three of these. So now heat loss through windows can be calculated by using the formula like area, 580 foot square times HDD, which is 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit days, times 24 hours in a day, divided by R value, which is 1. And if we do this calculation, this foot square, foot square, degrees Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit, hours and hours get canceled, days and days. So we'll be left with BTUs. And in a season, we will be losing about 83,520,000 BTUs. So this is only through windows. Now let's calculate through walls. heat loss. So that will be 1920, 1920 foot square walls and HDD is again 6000 and there are 24 hours in a day which doesn't change divided by the R value of the walls is given as 19 foot square, degrees Fahrenheit, hour over BTU. So, again, we can cancel these. And the heat loss from the walls appears to be 14,551,579 BTUs. Now we need to calculate through the roof heat loss. And we use the same formula. The area is 2,750 foot square and 6,000 degree days. And there are 24 hours in a day divided by the R value which is given as 22 foot square degrees Fahrenheit hour over BTU. Same things, again, just to make sure these can be cancelled. And we get 18 million BTUs. So when you add all these losses up, the windows heat loss plus the walls heat loss plus the roof heat loss, we get the total heat loss, or that is the heat that we need to buy, basically, the amount of energy that we need to buy. Happens to be 116,071,578 BTUs. So if we were to get this heat or this energy from a furnace that has an efficiency of 0.9 and also the natural gas I would provide as 100,000 BTUs in a CCF. So we can calculate uh, the number of CCF like we have done in the, in the past. We need 116 million BTUs. 
And when we burn natural gas, we get 100,000 BTUs for every CCF. And, al and also we know that we get only 90% of this energy as output. So although we buy 100,000 BTUs, 0 0.9 times 100,000 or 90,000 BTUs is what we really get as output. So the CCF that we require total would be 1,289 CCF. Or we need to buy 1,289 CCF to supply the heat for this house 